It's technically not a city or even a town. It's a census designated place or CDP known as Atascacita, Texas, and it is home to around 88,000 people. It is often mistakenly referred to as the nearby city of Humble, even by Atascacita residents. In 1965, to protect the water supply, the city of Houston annexed the land around Lake Houston, including much of the new Kingwood and Atascacita developments. But less than 15 years later, the city de-annexed those developments, but ultimately took Kingwood back in December of 1996. Chances are, if you have flown into Houston's George Bush Intercontinental Airport, which averages 500 daily arriving flights, you've also flown over Atascacita. Since the approach path is directly over Lake Houston and Atascacita, Atascacita is bordered by Lake Houston, a 12,000 acre man-made reservoir to the east and a good portion of its northern border, the San Jacinto River, the city of Humble to the west and the city of Houston to the south. But because Atascacita is merely the name of a place in unincorporated Harris County and not a city or a town, its southern border seems to be expanding and what was just thick forest just a few years ago, and even months ago, is being developed. There are seven main streets in Atascacita. Will Clayton Parkway runs east-west from George Bush Intercontinental Airport, which makes getting to and from the airport from Atascacita very convenient. West Lake Houston Parkway runs south-north from the Lake Houston Parkway Bridge over the Union Pacific Railroad tracks to the Lake Houston Parkway Bridge into Kingwood. Originally established by the Spanish before 1757 as a military highway to East Texas, Farm to Market 1960, or FM 1960, runs east-west through the center of Atascacita and is almost entirely commercial. This was the same road known as the Atascacito Trail, where cowboys drove their cattle from South Texas to New Orleans. Timber Forest Drive runs north-south through many of Atascacita's subdivisions, including the master-planned community of Eagle Springs, which boasts 3,400 homes over 1,340 acres. In 2017, Timber Forest Drive was extended to connect to the newly constructed Madera Run Parkway. It was extended again in 2023, allowing access to Westlake Houston Parkway. Madera Run Parkway runs east-west through the Groves, a 1,000-acre wooded master-planned community. Initially, it ran from Westlake Houston Parkway to Timber Forest Drive, but in 2018, Madera Run Parkway was extended west to Woodland Hills Drive, creating easy access to the Sam Houston Beltway. Woodland Hills Drive runs north-south from FM 1960 to the Beltway. Atascacita Road runs sort of diagonally on a northeast-southwest track through the middle of Atascacita, crossing Will Clayton Parkway, Woodland Hills Drive, and Timber Forest Drive until it reaches FM 1960, where it ends just before Westlake Houston Parkway. Construction around the greater Atascacita area is booming. Along FM 1960, the main artery through Atascacita, a massive $100 million street widening project is nearing completion. The project includes a bridge over the area's most congested intersection, FM 1960 and Westlake Houston Parkway. The project is expected to be completed by January 2024. Recently constructed Texas-sized luxury apartment complexes can now be found up and down Westlake Houston Parkway and more complexes under construction.
Development along the southern end of Westlake Houston Parkway has seen a substantial increase in commercial businesses too. Strip malls are popping up along Atascacita Road and Will Clayton Parkway. And a new HEB on Woodland Hills Drive. Forests are being cleared to make way for more development. New subdivisions now exist where it was just thick forest a few years and even months ago, especially south of Will Clayton Parkway. With all those new homes, new schools have also been built, like Westlake Middle School and Groves Elementary School. Atascacita's rapid population growth has also required several makeovers of Atascacita High School. Originally opened in 2006, becoming the third traditional high school in the Humble Independent School District and the first to open since 1979, it is said to be the school district's largest high school in terms of enrollment. The main entrance is modeled after Thomas Jefferson's Montecito. If you were to glance out of the window of an airplane on approach into Bush Intercontinental Airport, as it passes over Atascacita High School, you might notice what appears to be a giant mural on the ground. It's actually 200 different murals, since Atascacita High School seniors claim their parking spots with vibrant graffiti. Westlake Houston Parkway is where Atascacita's newest public park recently opened. Originally delayed due to COVID-19, the 21-acre, $11.5 million park finally opened in June 2020. The park was designed to inspire folks to get outdoors and enjoy all that nature has to offer, including the boardwalk overlooking a two-acre pond that is said to have an alligator as a resident. The park also has two dog parks, one for big dogs and one for little dogs. In July 2018, a very special park opened in Atascacita, the Insperity Adaptive Sports Complex. The YMCA of Greater Houston, Humble Independent School District, and its Education Foundation partnered to build the $4.8 million complex that includes features specifically designed to accommodate wheelchairs and walkers. It is only the second of its kind built in the greater Houston area. Just a few miles to the west is the massive 136-acre Lindsay Lyons Park, aka Angel Park, over the years, Lindsay Lyons Park has had several makeovers and now boasts one of the largest inclusive playgrounds in Harris County. It includes 20 soccer, 10 baseball, 4 softball, and 3 football fields. In addition to the county parks, most of the subdivisions in Atascacita also have their own parks, but few are as impressive as the 15-acre Eagle Springs Athletic Club and Sports Complex, which features tennis courts, soccer and baseball fields, a swimming pool, and a sand volleyball court. In 1957, the Atascacita Country Club was built adjacent to the shores of Lake Houston. It is now known as the Atascacita Golf Club and was considered the most challenging and beautiful in Houston.
it would be another 13 years before the area would catch the eye of developers. And the Atascocita Big A was finding its way onto the Texas map. In the October 2008 issue of U.S. News and World Report, Atascocita was named one of the best places to retire, citing Lake Houston's boating and fishing opportunities and Atascocita's golf courses. Today, Atascocita has two additional golf courses, Walden on Lake Houston and Tour 18. The award-winning travel writer, photographer, and editor, Sid Kearney, author of Merrimack Guide to Houston and Galveston, said that Atascocita was synonymous with golf, tennis, and other great recreational features on Lake Houston. Atascocita's early development was driven by those recreational features. In 2009, the Gadbury Group named Atascocita as one of nine most notable high growth areas in the United States. In the 1990s, Atascocita included 15 neighborhoods and was one of the fastest growing developments in the greater Houston area. As Atascocita began to grow into more than just golf courses, residents of those first developments relied on the nearby city of Humble for shopping and emergency services. The first grocery store is said to have been located on FM 1960 across the street from the Atascocita Golf Club, where the public library now exists. Today that location is an auto parts store and a modern day five and dime. In 1978, prior to the official formation of what was then the Atascocita Volunteer Fire Department, the residents of Atascocita raised enough money to purchase the first fire engine, a 1976 Ford Firefox pumper. which was initially housed at a Humble Fire Department station. Until construction of Atascocita's new fire station. Station one was built. In 2016, that original station was leveled to make room for what is now station 19. Initially, the fire department was composed of volunteers who generously donated their time and efforts to protect their neighbors. However, like many volunteer fire departments, the need to incorporate more coverage and consistent response times by utilizing both volunteer and paid firefighters became apparent. And so in 1980, the department became a combination of both volunteer and paid firefighters. In January 2001, Atascocita residents approved the creation of Rural Fire Prevention District 46, which eventually evolved into Emergency Services District 46, a taxing district so that the department would have a reliable source of income to be able to keep up with the tremendous growth. Because ESD 46 is a taxing district, it has defined geographic boundaries, and when it was created in 2001, those boundaries basically defined Atascocita's boundaries. Today, with all of the development, mostly to the south and east, ESD 46 and Atascocita are no longer synonymous. In 2017, ESD 46 assumed operational responsibilities and now operates as Atascocita Fire Department. Whether it's shopping or dining, Atascocita has plenty of convenient options, considering most shops and dining establishments 
are concentrated in what could be considered the center of a Tascacita. There are plenty of culinary choices available, including many national restaurant chains. And of course, there are those local favorites. Two of the most popular are Tin Roof Barbecue and Taco Flores. A house near downtown Houston that was set to be demolished after being retrofitted now lives on as Tin Roof Barbecue in the center of Atascacita. Tin Roof Barbecue has been an Atascacita icon since opening in June 2001. Over the years, the restaurant has grown from its original house to more than 12,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor space, and, according to some, the nicest country restrooms that can be found. If you're not in the mood for authentic barbecue, just two miles east is Taco Flores. In 2003, Two years after Tin Roof Barbecue opened, another Atascacita icon was just starting out as a food truck serving street tacos. Today, Taco Flores is one of Atascacita's most popular eateries, even with all the street widening construction. Just like dining icons, Atascacita also has a couple of nightlife icons. On the Rocks and the Time Out Tavern. Just as it was true in the 90s, it remains true today. Atascacita, Texas is still one of the best places to live. And whether you love golfing, boating, fishing, living lakeside, or in the woods, This is Atascacita, Texas.